Hello guys, this is Shweb Khan and welcome to my English lecture. And today I brought for you a new topic and the topic is about class. So it means that after watching this video, you will be able to understand about class in its types. And you will be able to give answer to such questions like what is class? How can we find it in a sentence? What are the different types of class? How can we use it in a sentence? How a class is different from a sentence? But before I go to in detail, if you are new in my channel, so please subscribe my channel. Well, it has been observed that for the students class is quite difficult thing. And along with that, finding it in a sentence just like a rocket science for them. But after watching this video, for them it will be a piece of cake to find it in a sentence. So, let's start it. First of all, we should know that what is class. So first we need to define it. So class we can define in this way, a group of words which forms a part of a sentence and contains a subject and a word of its own. It's called class. So by the help of this definition, we came to know uh, approximately three things. The first one we said that it will be a part of a sentence. A class will a group of words and it will have a subject and a word of its own. For example, I met a person who is a driver. So you can see that this is a sentence, but it consists of two classes. The first one we can say that I met a person. It is one part of a sentence that we can call it class. Who is a driver? It is another part of a sentence that is also a class. So it means that this is a sentence which consists of two classes. So let's discover it. How can we find it whether it is dependent or independent or coordinate clause? There are three types of classes. The first one we have main clause or independent clause. The second one subordinate clause or dependent clause. The third one coordinate clause. So let's move and discuss it one by one. Main or independent class. An independent class express a complete thought and it can stand alone as a sentence. So by the help of this definition, we came to know that main or independent class will be that kind of class which can stand alone as a sentence. So if it can stand alone as a sentence, so it means that it will be a kind of class which can give complete sense. So you are right, it can give complete sense. Main or independent clause will be that kind of clause which can give complete sense in simple words you can say. For example, he has a dog which is very powerful. So you can see in this sentence it consists of two classes. The first one is this one, he has a dog. So this one is main class because it can stand alone as a sentence. If I do not say apart from this one, so it will give complete sense. For example, if I say only this one, he has a dog. So it can stand alone as a sentence. And the second, and, and the second thing is that we said in definition that a clause will consist of subject. So does it have a subject? Yes, it has a subject and the subject we have that is he and along with it we also say that a class will consist of a verb of its own. So does it have a verb? Yes, it has a verb that is has. So that is why it is main class. So if you look at the another part of it which says that which is very powerful. So it is dependent class because which cannot stand alone as a sentence. And there are a lot of examples, just look at. Smith has a chain which is made of gold. So here you can see here, Smith has a chain. So it is main or independent class because it can stand alone as a sentence, which is made of gold. So this is dependent class because it cannot stand alone. So if I say that, which is made of gold, so can you get meaning from it? Indeed not. Smith has a chain which is made of gold. 
so again this sentence consists of two classes the first one is main or independent class but the second one is dependent class smith has a chain this is main class when we achieve high marks we will visit somewhere so this is we will visit somewhere is a main class and when we achieve high marks this is dependent class when john entered the room we welcomed him vigorously so when john entered the room this is dependent class If Smith decides to join us, then we will have enough members. If Smith decides to join us, this is dependent class. Then we will have enough members. This is main class or independent class because it can stand alone as a sentence. Subordinate or dependent class. A dependent class does not express a complete thought. and it cannot stand alone as a sentence so by the help of this definition we came to know that a dependent or subordinate clause will be that kind of clause which cannot stand alone as a sentence and along with that which cannot give complete sense by itself for example if you take medicine regularly you will get well soon so this sentence also consists of two clauses The first one we have if you take medicine regularly this is subordinate or dependent class because which cannot stand alone as a sentence for example if you have a friend and you go there and he is ill and you say that if you take medicines regularly and do not say anything apart from it so he will be confused because it cannot give complete sense but if you along with it you say that you will get well soon so then it will give complete sense because here you attach the independent clause so the first one if you take medicine regularly so this is subordinate or dependent clause if he studies hard he will pass the exam so if he studies hard is subordinate or dependent clause he will pass the exam is main or independent class because which can stand alone as a sentence do you know the man who went to court on saturday so in this sentence who went to court on saturday is dependent class or subordinate class ali hires a taxi when he goes to airport when he goes to airport is a subordinate or dependent class if he works out daily he will have perfect body when he works out daily is a dependent class or subordinate class she can learn easily if you teach her daily if you teach her daily is a dependent class or subordinate class coordinate class two or more independent clauses of same order or rank when found in a sentence are called coordinate clauses coordinate clauses can stand by themselves as a simple sentences so by the help of this definition we can to know that coordinate clauses will be those clauses which consist of two or more than two independent clauses in the same rank so is you know that independent clauses are those clauses which can stand alone as a sentence so those independent sen- clauses when found in a same rank and a sentence so it will be called coordinate clause for example i cannot see you in trouble because you are my friend so you can see here it consists of two clauses the first one is I cannot see you in trouble. So can it give complete sense? Yes, it can give complete sense because it is independent class or we can say that main class. Because you are my friend. 
So this one is also main class because it can stand alone as a sentence because you are my friend. So it can also give complete sense. So this sentence consists of two classes that are independent. So that is why it is called coordinate class. Ali took tea and I prepared cool drink. Ali took tea is also independent class and I prepared cold drink is also independent or main class so that is why it is coordinate class. My brothers play hockey and I love cricket. My brothers play hockey. It can also stand alone as a sentence and I love cricket. It is also can give a complete sense. So that is why it is coordinate clause. He was not in the favor of sport, but he did not mind cricket. He was not in favor of sport. It is also independent. And along with it, it is mad clause. And he did not mind cricket. It is also main class. John wants to become a doctor, but Ali wants to become an engineer. So it is also a sentence and it consists of two classes and that are independent because it can stand alone as a sentence. So that is why it is coordinate class. So if you like my videos, so please share it, like it. Thank you.